was Rajasthan, Telangana, Himachal. Then came the Lok Sabha elections. Then came Jammu and Kashmir and Haryana. And now it's Maharashtra and Jharkhand. And there's going to be a common link to all of this. And that's what's our focus tonight. We're looking at freebies and you, the voters, and what political parties think of you. That's right, it's not just about what you, the voters, think of freebies, but it's also what the political parties think of you. It's raining freebies. Power subsidies, free travel on state buses for women, free electricity, farm loan waivers, free laptops, free gas cylinders, and financial aid for women, unemployed youth, farmers, laborers are some of the freebies that were offered in state elections right from 2023 all the way till just about a month ago, running into even recently held Lok Sabha elections. The cost of these freebies for some states is estimated to be as high as 96,000 crore rupees or 2.2% of a state's GDP, which is the state, Maharashtra, where a blitzkrieg of freebies Sops by the ruling Mahayuti are already out. Ladki Bahin, Yojana of 1,500 rupees per month to women. No toll for cars in Mumbai. It's Diwali bonus of 28,000 rupees for BMC staff. LPG cylinders per year per household. Free power to farmers for water pumps. Daily wages of 40,000 home guards increased. Rajimata title for indigenous cows. Triples. In fact, the government has gone on to triple the madrasa teachers' salaries. Well, many may say these are not freebies. This is a mix of what their promises are and is different from guarantees. But here's the common link. Across states, this has been happening and this just manifoldly spirals right before elections as it's happening in Maharashtra. But it's not the Maharashtra story alone. And that's where it becomes very interesting. The 2024 Lok Sabha elections were freebie packed across party lines despite BJP's all attack on Ahmadmi parties, Arvind Kejriwal and of course Congress's Rahul Gandhi and so many other parties and leaders. In fact, Prime Minister Modi himself leading the attack from the front. The irony here is the freebies that have been launched since then by the BJP-led governments as well. And it's not a BJP story, as I was saying. Let's look at Karnataka. Look at what's happened over the last year and a half since Karnataka really came to power. You had freebies that have been announced and price hikes that have had to be increased since then, whether it be milk, whether it be fares, whether it be um, other aspects, all of this, some of them that have been promised and some of them that are still on hold. We'll look at all of that in detail. Let's just look at this. We were talking about Karnataka. It was in 2023 that the Siddharamaya government rode to power with freebies amounting to at least 62,000 crore rupees. The estimate of the 62,000 crore rupees, ladies and gentlemen, amounts to nearly 20,000 of the state's budget. The amount that could be spent on major freebies is as large as the fiscal deficit in 2023. But as I said, it's almost 2.6 of the GSDP. That's just Karnataka. Look at Maharashtra, 90,000 crore financial burden of schemes. 46,000 crore cost of just the Latki Bahin scheme alone. 6.12 lakh rupee, crore rupees budget presented in June, 1.1 lakh crore rupees fiscal deficit that has already been announced, 7.82 lakh crore debt projection by March 2025, second highest debt after Tamil Nadu. And of course, you cannot forget what happened with Arvind Kejriwal, remember, where he said, I'm Halwai and uh, held up the Ravadis, even as he was being attacked by the centre. And here's the, on your screen, you will have the list of the various freebies that have been announced by Amabri Party, whether it be Delhi, Punjab or so on and so forth, right ahead of the elections. Now, why are we talking suddenly about this? Of course, there's elections in Maharashtra as well as uh, Jharkhand. But apart from this, there's also something that's come up in the Supreme Court. There are series of petitions in the Supreme Court. And these petitioners have claimed that populist measures need to be stopped. 
The financial burden on the exchequer is increasing across states and unbearable. No mechanism to ensure fulfillment of pre poll promises impose total ban on populist measures. Election Commission should take deterrent measures. Disturbs the level playing field. Survival of democratic values is threatened. Disturbs a level playing field. Important statements here before the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has gone ahead and issued notices to various stakeholders, including the center as well as other political parties. But at this point, let me open up my debate. I'm being joined by Shaina NC, who's a spokesperson for BJP, Kishore Subramanian, who's a financial expert, advocate Anmol Panwar, who's a spokesperson for Ahmadmi Party, as well as advocate APS Kharyal, who's a spokesperson for Congress. Thank you very much, all four of you, for joining us. And of course, uh, all the very best for the election season that, ha that is already upon us. And amid it all, let me just start with uh, Shaina NC. Let me just start with you. What do you make out of the petitions that are before the Supreme Court? They are claiming the freebie culture or the ravedy culture, whatever you want to call it, is threatening the democratic ideals of the country, the democratic functioning of the country, and is not really free. So at the outset, let me please say, when the Supreme Court takes cognizance of a particular uh, viewpoint, it needs to be respected, so I'm not going to contradict. But having said that, there is a difference between freebies, subsidies, SOPs, which only uh, make sure that people don't look for any kind of agenda, but just rely on the government. We, uh, as opposed to what we have done in Maharashtra. Now, if you take the Ladki Behna Yojana, what does it mm. do? It gives 1500 to those women directly in their bank accounts so that they can create livelihood for themselves and be economically and financially empowered. Now, this is something which caters to women mm. across the board, irrespective of caste, creed, culture, and it is for the economically downtrodden, but at the same time, the option for that girl to empower her own life with this 1500 and the response has been phenomenal. I would say that this is a great scheme because hmm. this is not an unethical practice. It is not a bribe. It is not irrational as a freebie as you are pitching it. It is about empowering uh, the Ladki Behen and empowering women in their individual capacity. You talked about uh, uh, Mata. I don't think this is just about a thought or a belief. It's about us as valuing our cultural ethos as well. You talked about uh, LPG gas cylinders. Again, this helps that woman in the household who was waiting and awaiting gas cylinders to uh, which help her not just with her health, but also in keeping her family uh, healthy, happy, etc. So if you talk about a Rajimata title for cows, I don't see why that could be a matter or bone of contention. The salaries of those working in the madarsas. Now, if you give it, you are questioned. If you don't, they say, why are you discriminating? So I would like to say that our prime minister has highlighted, and this is something which we need to take home. There are four vote banks in this country, not Jat Pat Dharm Ki Rajniti, but the woman, the, uh, you know, the youngsters, that's the youth. So it's an apprenticeship program. It's an internship program that is for the youth, which also gets livelihood through education, etc. And then, of course, there is the farmer, which needs to be taken into consideration, and the poor, which is below poverty line. So if Labharthis are benefiting, and if that is at the cost of the government's exchequer, I think it's well worth it because that empowers your society as a whole, as opposed to a government saying, oh, I will give you free electricity, free water, free everything else, which makes you lame and really not in a position to empower your own life or the people around you too. So that needs to be the basic differentiation. And having said that, okay. yes, we do okay. respect what the honorable courts have said too. But we must understand if we make a promise in our manifesto, we should live up to that as a government of the day.
Okay, Shaina NC, I mean, ideally I would have liked to go to advocate APS Khadial, but obviously you seem to have made, taken a direct dig at the Amabi party as well. So advocate Anmol Panwar, how would you respond? Shaina NC is saying, listen, what we are doing is welfare, unlike the preposterous Amadmi party, as they call you. And as Arvind Kejriwal very famously said, he's a halwai. Uh, he, makes, uh, he makes the best for his people. Seha, this freebies have long been a contentious issue in the Indian politics and often viewed through the lens of populism and political strategy. But the ones who say that freebies undermine the spirit of constitution they demonstrate a complete misunderstanding of its principle. Because the Constitution of India mandates that the state governments must provide basic amenities and services to the citizens. And uh, my fellow panelists, who is also an advocate, might agree with this also. And this obligation stems from uh, the fact that the fundamental right to life and dignity, which is enshrined in Article 21 of the Constitution of India, it obligates the state government to create uh, conditions where individual can le lead a decent life, lead a life of dignity. So uh, this, many times the opposition, uh, the ruling, the BJP government raised question about the freebies. This offering of free services like free electricity, water, education, and healthcare, these align with the constitutional provisions and they must learn from Arvind Kejriwal model of governance. They must learn from Arvind Kejriwal's economics of empowering people and strengthening the nation, which so involves advocate no Anmol tax Panwar, increases. Which are you welcoming no the freebies and the sops by the BJP and the and the um, uh, and the Mahayuti in Maharashtra? See, um, what I'm uh, let me complete. I'm saying that none none of the governments in uh, India other than Delhi, has been able to uh, provide basic amenities to the people because they don't know how to govern a state. I think they must take a leap from Arvind Kejriwal's model of governance wherein, uh, despite giving basic amenities to the citizens, no tax has been increased, we have taken no loans, we have given a surplus budget since last 10 years, and with careful planning and execution, and more, most importantly, with a genuine intent and commitment to serve the people, we have uh, ensured that people get basic amenities of life. And now this freaky Ravdi model has also made its way to the U.S. We have seen uh, last week the former U.S. President Donald Trump announced that if he wins uh, the election, then he'll half the electricity and energy rates in the U.S. So... The global leaders are learning from so Arvind Kejriwal's model advocate of governance. So, essentially, Anmol Panwar, I mean, I'm a little confused here. Are you and Shaina I... NC on the same pitch with the Maharashtra elections? See, uh, can you... Uh, I'll, I'll remove your confusion. At least when it can comes to Ravri culture or... Can you, can you name a single state where BJP has been able to provide basic amenities to the citizens? A single state governed by BJP. Then you'll China know the NC. difference between quickly, Arvind Kejriwal's China NC, model of governance. A minute and a half, I have to go to others then, as well. China NC, very quickly come in. I, mean, I don't think it warrants a response even. The difference between a welfare scheme and a freebie is amply clear. And the AAP party has done nothing but this free culture which has not necessarily empowered but has created them a so-called vote bank which i'm sure in the days to come will realize that there is a, a hidden agenda of the AAP party this was not Having my question that, the difference i'd like to highlight and i'd like to just read this one second the key departmental needs they've spent 141 crores on law department to fund pensions and allowances Ma I the asked second you... national judiciary uh, judicial pay commission the power department has 512 crores for consumer subsidies huh, channeled through discoms whilst the transport uh, transport department requires 941 crores to support viability of electrical bus buses now look at this this the kind of spending on even advertisements is preposterous moreover the health department has 
completely talked about a complete rehaul. Additionally, pressing 447 crores for irrigation and flood control. Now, is this necessary, okay. not necessary? Okay. Can I, Let can the I people of Delhi decide. And as far as we are concerned, please don't make okay. this comparison. Okay, advocate Anmol Panwari, very quickly, Maharashtra please. And Delhi, because uh, it's uh, there's a world Sneha. of difference. We Sneha advocate Anmol Panwari. Sneha ji, she didn't respond to my specific question that uh, is there a single state governed by BJP which is providing basic amenities to the people, to the citizens. But I'll play some facts before you. Madhya Pradesh ruled by BJP under a debt of 4 lakh crores. Uttar Pradesh ruled by BJP under a debt of 7 lakh crores. Maharashtra ruled by BJP under a debt of more than 7 lakh crores. Gujarat ruled by BJP under a debt of 4 lakh 67 crores. Haryana ruled by BJP under a debt of 3 lakh, 36, 3 lakh crores. But Delhi government in the past 10 years has given a surplus budget and increased the budget from 36,000 crores to 76,000 crores. No tax increases, no availment of loans, and basic amenities we are providing okay, to all the Okay, at this point, I have to get an from advocate all the APS Khadiyar. All right, advocate APS Khadiyar, this, this, can I get you in? So, Aam Party and the Congress are part of the larger India alliance. Of course, you both are rivals at, in different <coughs> states' political opponents. You have the Aam Aadmi Party here clearly challenging that no other state has been able to do what they have done. But my AP, APS Khadial, my question really to you is this. Lok Sabha elections saw a big turnaround. It was... It was many people said that that was not what India Alliance was spec to. And many have, after the results, said it's about the caste census, it's about the reservation, it's about what, the welfare promises that were made. Many of that actually talking about the freebies and SOPs that the Congress could bring in in a very different light. But look at what's happening in Karnataka. The huge burden on the exchequer and the price rises that already be that 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 are already seen in several uh, in several uh, sectors for that matter and we have the details on the screen of all of that as well so advocate aps khadial would you say it's a very difficult balancing act and free isn't really free thank you for the question first things first our topic is whether the honorable supreme court has issued a notice to the center on free needs However, the Bharati Janta Party spokesperson did not utter a word as to what this stand is going to be in the Honorable Supreme Court, which basically means that they do not want to clarify if they will be standing in favor of freebies or if they'll be standing against the freebies. Now, why is that the Bharati Janta Party not wanting to specify it? Because the BJP is accustomed to having double standards. Because the Bharati Janta Party spokesperson if, uh, would have said that we stand because one, they'll be appearing. Now that the notice has been issued, they'll be appearing in the court, they'll be filing a reply to it, and they'll be specifying as to what this stand is. And the BGB spokesperson would have stay, said, we'll stand against freebies. Will the Bharati Janta Party roll back all the freebie schemes that they have given? All the freebies will be taken back. The unemployment allowance, 300 per month to youth. The free travel, the gas cylinder subsidy, the old age pension, the free power supply, the Subhagya scheme, the investment support for farmers and whatnot. I mean, uh, uh, giving money before election is bright, but giving money after election is perfectly all right. So the BDP should tell, you are the one who's a party there. You are the one who will be appearing as a respondent, making arguments. So why is the Bharti Janta Party talking of everything under the sun? but not what the topic uh, mandates. Now, there's one major difference between the BJP and the Congress party. Freebies for the Bharti Janta Party is smart politics, uh, but for the people, it's bad economics. The Congress party, on the other hand, would call it welfare politics, and for people, it's good economics, because we do not let the freebies put a hole in the exchequer we do not uh, function the way the Bharti Janta Party does. I would want to know from the BJP spokesperson, China Ji, what is the total debt that the center has? 187 lakh crore. Is this where uh, the country is headed to? I mean, the Bharti Janta Party has zero plan of action. They do not even deliver uh, freebies at very many places. They just make hollow promises. And when they deliver, 
they put a big massive hole in the exchequer and they shouldn't call the exchequer exchequer khazana mat ko usko usko pipa kaho because that is what you have turned our exchequer into so the bjp spokesperson ought to clarify what their specific stand is going to be in the supreme court when they appear there will they stand in favor of the freebies or will they stand against please have the answer to that Okay, advocate uh, APS Khadiyal. I'm going to go to China NC, but I'm going to come back to for you to for the answer on Karnataka because that's also not something that you have given. Like you say, China <laughs> NC did not answer the question that I asked her. But China uh, NC, it's over to you. So, you which know, side of the debate are you really on? Are you for the ravenies that Prime Minister Modi has really taken on and criticised the parties, no, or are you in favour favour of it? I don't think the Congress has the, uh, rather the Congress has the audacity to ask me without answering what they're doing in Karnataka and what they should be doing and what they have done. I'm not getting into any of that. The Prime Minister has made it amply clear that there is a difference between a welfare scheme that benefits a labharti. What are we in politics for? What are we in public life for? Is it not to empower the women? of our society? Is it not to empower the youth? Is it not to empower the people who are below poverty line? And is it not to help our farmers? If this is an agenda and if it is wrong, then so be it. I don't understand why they're getting confused under the disguise and trying to call it a bribe when it's nothing but the Congress party. What did it do for this country? I mean, Stand 70 years, look at the infrastructure where we were, look at the roads today, look at the highways, look at the railways, look at the air airways, look at the kind of development in a country called Bharat, which you chose to keep as your vote bank for certain communities, which Fine you question. didn't even empower. You kept them as as, as illiterate and as backward as possible, so okay. they continue China to China NC. Before bank. I so don't give me, a, you are nobody to question me. Before the I go to APS Khadiyal for us, his answer and the repose the faith in Prime Minister okay, Modi, before as I go you to APS Khadiyal, China too. NC. And please why understand, you are, in why Haryana you are saying too, these are not ravenies, these are welfare schemes? Us. China NC, just allow me a minute. One question, one question, one question. Would you agree that there is also another skin to ravenies, and that that is again? a game that all political parties play alike but somehow not neither of them are willing to accept it like for example if there was supposed to be no toll for cars in mumbai entering five points of mumbai uh and this is a channel that urban india watches so my direct question to you on that this could have been done before as well so you may say this is not a freebie this is something that is a welfare, but it's coming right before the elections. Why wait? China NC. Well, if it is, if it is, if it is, as they say, better late than never. I mean, you have to understand <laughs> that in Maharashtra yeah. also, we are also mm. accountable to the people. If we feel that there are certain toll, and this is certain toll junctions, where if the agencies have not maintained that area, they have not lived up to the kind of promises they have made to the government in turn, the chief minister is well within his jurisdiction to take, an to take a viewpoint which is in the interest of public and the voter. Eventually, who is judging us? It's not the Congress party or the APS AP party Khadiyan. or even a channel. My, it is the people question, of Maharashtra, the question, speeding one, of infrastructure question, projects, the continuation of rationing for the poor. All question. of this is things that we have promised and we will continue to do so. Perfect. Perfect. Now, hear me on. Please, my question is, what okay. China, Advocate APS Khadiyal. Thank you. What China ji said was, she basically said freebies are basically welfare politics, right? So my question is, will the Bharatiya Junta Party in the Supreme Court will stand in favor of freebies? Is that a yes from the BGP? What is your problem, sir? You talk about what you want to do as a defunct Congress party who has no vision plan for the no people of that. India. Well, I'm not here sitting in your courtroom for you to ask right. me a question okay. and for me to Let me get in Kishore Subramanian at this point. Kishore Subramanian. Okay, allow me to get in. Allow me to get in Kishore Subramanian. He's been waiting very so patiently. And Kishore Subramanian, no the Maharashtra fact is that Indian politics and Indian electoral politics seems to be caught up in this entire Ravadi freebie culture. 
Is there even possibly a way out? Why I ask that even political parties that have really stood against it are now right before elections in a blitzkrieg mode. How do you differentiate with party from party, party from party, when the agenda seems very common, at least at the freebie level? Okay, so uh, my first response is... Uh, uh, 27 minutes I've been patiently waiting, so I expect the reciprocation of my time. Point number one, if you if you if you note the context Absolutely, of the conversation please. today and the way it has happened, it's very, very similar to the country itself. All the political part, parties spoke, BJP, Amadmi Party, Congress. It is the common man who gets his last voice. Thankfully, at least in the channel, he is heard. First point. Freebies announced before elections are bribed. Supreme Court has categorically said this, and I think that's a master stroke. Whatever, whichever party is giving freebies, whether it is Bharatiya Janta Party, whether it is Congress, whether it is Aadmi Party, let us be clear on your channel. For the last two years, I have been telling this that this is pure bribe. If the constitution requires and mandates a government in place, to actually benefit the common man. Why don't you do it after the election? Why don't you do it one year prior to the next election? Why do you do it on the eve of election? So it's a very clear indication that the intent, however camouflaged as welfare for people, the fundamental fact is that it is a bribe. That's my first point. The second point, Remember, if there is a bee that is Kishore spoiling, Subramanian, uh, Kishore Subramanian, with your permission, person, with your permission, because you've been very patiently waiting. While you're going point by point, will you allow me 30, 30 seconds to each of the panelists to respond to your points? It'll make for very interesting responses. Would you allow that? In that case, I'll go 30, 30 seconds to them and come back to you for your second point. Is that okay with no, you, Mr. Kishore Subramanian? Please, please understand, I can give you 30 minutes. It's your program, your channel. But let me tell you, the common man's voice is never heard. Forget about this show. At the end of the day, there is... Okay, there is go a ahead, make your point. So first point, bribe. Second point, what's your second point? Go ahead, go ahead, Kishore Subramanian. I'll give you some data. In FY24, 11 states have estimated the revenue deficits at the budget estimate level. In FY23, the revenue expenditure was 83% of the total expenditure, while the rest was capital expenditure, which means you are not doing progressive, only you are doing revenue expenditure. 53% of revenue received was spent on interest, pension, and salaries. With this kind of economics, let me tell you one thing. I am not a spokesperson of any party, but if there is any party in this country which is at least sane in its economic policy, despite the fact that today in your show, they are not taking a stand, it is BJP. At least they are responsible because today, if you look at the foreign exchange reserve of India, we have crossed $700 billion. From fragile five, we have moved to the top five. In 1991, we were bankrupt. We had less than 15 days of foreign exchange reserve to run our country. That is what Congress did. But here, let me repeat, I am not a BJP spokesperson, but the fact of the matter that if economics is understand, understood by any party, BJP understands it better. But having said that, the question by the Congress spokesperson was very valid. Are you against it or for it? I don't think so. BJP is going to give you an answer today. Everybody is camouflaging it, saying that it's a welfare scheme. Everything is a welfare scheme. When it happens before election, it is a bribe. Today, Himachal, Punjab, Kerala, Karnataka, Bengal, suffering and reeling with debt, and the debt to GSDP ratio is pathetic. None of the government cares for the common man because ultimately, what the government or the political person cares is his or her own chair. At this rate, I'm telling you the cocktail between reservation, freebies, and corruption. This is spoiling the society. And if you want India to be a globally <clears throat> great country, you can't run this. And the joke of the evening was the Aam Aadmi Party spokesperson saying that America is following this. Let's not joke over here. What Trump said is completely different from what Arvind Kejriwal is saying. <clears throat> All right. Okay, I think Kishore Subramaniam has made some very, very important points. And these are, of course, backed by data and facts. These are also part of the Supreme Court's very, very important observations. So first to you, Shaina NC, before elections, bribe. Are you bribing people in Maharashtra? 
And which side are you on again? It's again something that Kishore Subramanian is asking as well. And frankly, it's people, not DJP alone. Every single party is bribing. Firstly, let me please say I respect everything. I agree. I agree. And I'm no, going to go to all the parties here. Yeah, it's not the BJP alone, Kishore Subramanian. You're absolutely correct on that. Citizen. No, I, I absolutely respect what he said. And let me please address this directly. First, uh, sir, you said about, you know, why, what is the need just before election? You take a largely Behna Yojana. We have already given three months, which is, and 2.45 crore women have benefited in the state. And this is not a program which is going to end now. It's going to continue when we come back to power two, which is November. And it will continue for keeps. If you take a question of the, uh, you know, the convenience for the people who are traveling by the coastal road or for that man matter who have been waived off the toll, that is also going to continue. So it's not a bribe before an election or after. Having said that, I do respect what it you said. It isn't about you know, whether it is going to continue or not. It's about the announcement your, right your, before the election, your... China NC. Of course it will. No, but but if the uh, if the announcement stops there with a full stop, then it is a bribe, right? We are continuing for keeps, whether it's three cylinders, two women, or it is you know increasing the daily wages of a home guard. You're not going to increase it and then decrease it. If you're going to come with Rajya Mata for uh, the cow, it's not going to be right now and then not. If you increase triple the salaries of even the t teachers in the madrasas, which was long, long overdue, you're not going to reduce it after you come to power. It's going to continue. So my only viewpoint, and I'm so glad he I have a response to that, but instead of me, I'm going to go to Kishore Subramaniam, who's Prime raising Minister, his hands. Very quickly, BJP, Kishore Subramaniam, do you want to respond BJP, to Shaina yeah, 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 I, said, I want to respond. BJP, I want to respond as I said, to has only four vote banks. I, I want to respond to Madam one important point when congress gives 2000 in haryana and you increase it by 100 and say congress is giving a freebie but we are not uh, what can i say what can i say about this mathematics point number one point number two while i acknowledge uh, mr Vajpayee and mr modi's economic policy because india has done wonderfully well during their period and truly so but let me tell you the prime minister himself has said this remedy culture should stop and I think if anybody should be respected in this country, it is Mr. Narendra Modi's statement that revity culture should be stopped. For goddamn sake, the next generation should not suffer. Thanks. And I'm sure, heart to heart, outside this program, all the five of us, including the anchor, know that this is not good for the country. So let us not camouflage this, the Maharashtra elections. Let us pray that BJP wins but, sir, and let each party but, ban it. I think the political parties are not going to do this. Sir. The Supreme Court has given a notice. There is going to be no response to it. Every okay. 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 okay, I'll have to the go to the other panelists as well. Shaina NC, 40 seconds Neha. to you because I gave you time earlier as well. Shaina Neha, NC, 40 seconds before seconds. I go to the other panelists. 30 seconds. Yes, please. Yeah, I'll just take. I'll just okay. take 30. I'll just take 30 seconds. Absolutely agree with what you said, sir. But at the same time, what the Prime Minister is saying is exactly this. Only when people are given education, security and financially empowered will we rise above this concept of freebies, subsidies, subs in the larger scheme of things. Having said that, the election. La parties are only four vote banks, which are women, youth, poor and, of course, the farmer. So in that okay. respect, All I right. think our vision All plan right. is very clear. Earlier. So let me go to the other panelists. India Advocate Anmol Panwar. Anything to any empowered family. The bravery culture is it becoming a joke? I mean, at the end of the day, what are you asking the voters to vote for? Right before the elections, right after the elections, what is what is it that you are expecting the voters to suddenly be attracted to you? Is there nothing else except freebies that eventually are going to go the tax way? to those voters themselves. Anmol Panwar, you heard Kush Kishore Subramanian who said what the Aam Aadmi Party has claimed or done is nothing short of a joke. There have also been huge political criticisms for this as well. Is winning elections all about it and then is it po political opportunism? Advocate Anmol Panwar. Sneha ji, uh, the arguments made by Mr. Kishore are fallacious and uh, we must understand the concept of freebies. Pehle se samajne ka prayas ki jiye. उसके बाद हम ये कहें कि फ्रीबीज जो हैं वो सही हैं या गलत हैं। 
Today, less than one third of the combined spending of the state and central government is raised through income tax. And it's the taxes on the commodities that meet more than half of the expenditure of the state and central government. And these taxes are paid by rich, by poor, by the middle class. And they are accused of getting freebies. I mean, uh, this, is, this is a very flawed argument made by Mr. Kishore. And he very conveniently choose to not name any of the BJP ruled state, which I named earlier, which are reeling under a severe debt, whether it's Madhya Pradesh, whether it's Uttar Pradesh, whether it's Rajasthan, whether it's Gujarat. He very conveniently named the states ruled by either Congress or the Ahmadmi Party. And I, I, I would uh, also, uh, I mean, the Nobel laureates, Mr. Amartya Sen and Abhijit Banerjee, they lauded the Arvind Kejriwal's model of governance. Because uh, they know the fact that if the welfare policies are judiciously implemented, they, they can significantly improve the quality of life of the citizens, which is happening in Delhi. And that is why I am reiterating the fact that the governments must learn from Kejriwal's economics of empowering people and strengthening the nation. It involves no tax increases, no availment of loans. Kishore Subramanian, very quickly, your hands, you, have, you have your hands up. Kishore and, Subramanian. And, and genuine intent and commitment to serve the people. That yeah, is why me, people are again and again voting us in power. Yeah, let me let me complete it. See, London School of Economics has decided that they are going to introduce a new chapter on Arvind, Kals, Arvind Kejriwal's freebie model. Okay, that's going to be a new chapter in London School of Economics. And February, you will learn it whether people have understood. So, so you during must the also, election rally, you must the also be a part of the <coughs> class so that you can also learn about his model of governance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have learned enough. I, I have people learned enough. People won't have to be with, with your, with your, with your, with your all right, all right. Between all of that rhetorical, I mean, I welcome rhetorics, but I advocate rhetorics with great uh, points as well. Advocate APS Khadial, how do you look at? Whatever the debate and the argument has been, each party, it's interesting for me as an anchor here because there's no party that has been critical till now of SOPs, of freebies. There are different words to it. There's a different culture to it. But nonetheless, it's the essence. Is there a way that Congress can look at not taking the burden of it all to taxpayers? Because in your states... And, and I understand Kishore Subramaniam mentioned certain states, but it's a, it's a story, state after state, across political lines. But since you represent the Congress, is there an alternative for those who are voting you in terms of the burden being borne by them? Well, before I touch upon that, I want to give a title for what the BGP has been doing in this debate. The Bharti Janta Party has been gumawing and gumawing, khata khat, khata khat. The main title of the debate is the Honorable Supreme Court issues notice to center over three months. Despite that, the fellow panelists asked the BGP spokesperson, what your stand is going to be on the stream, uh, in the Supreme Court? No answer to that. Before that, I had asked it, no answer to that. The anchor, you, Sneha, asked it, no answer to that. Because the Bharti Janta Party does not want to answer it. They want to keep on gumawing. Vaise kehna hai bura hai, if other parties do it. But they would do it themselves. I'll give you a classic example for that. Mr. Modi, back in the day, you know what he said? He criticized the Ravdi culture uh, and he said that it's very, very dangerous. And he said it after implementing two Ravdi schemes, Pahel, which is the LPG subsidy, and PM Kisan Saman Nidhi scheme. After giving Ravdi, after giving freebies, Mr. Modi called it dangerous. I mean, this goes on to suggest the Bharti Janta Party's double standards. If you want to say something, you double standards, then don't open up the door, don't do the BGP, you're exposing yourself. Okay, APS Khadiyar, before I go to Shaina NC for her last right to respond, you, I'm asking you this question again. What's your response to an alternate of the burden being borne by the armed junta like we are seeing in Congress rule states, including okay. Karnataka? Yeah, coming to that, see. Now, one, the Congress party does not function like the Bharti Janta party. If we are coming up with a welfare scheme, we have a plan of action ready to put the money there. We bring investment in the state. And the money that is coming through the industries, through factories, through employment, the money that is being generated in the state 
is used for the welfare schemes. What the Bharatiya Janata Party does is they'll take uh, debt, they'll keep on taking loans, they'll keep on providing people with uh, freebies, and that is what does away with the economy. That is what uh, 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 basically is poor economics. And the Bharatiya Janata Party, argument ever Bharatiya Janata Party, if I may. Well, it's uh, anyway better than the... China NC? All right, I have to end this, but China NC, you have a right to respond, that. please. If, do it now, Neha. Please. if the BJP could now Neha. specify... Neha. Go ahead, go Neha. ahead, China NC. What a ludicrous argument is this? <laughs> that, well, oh, if than no we come into a all. state, we will get industry and from that revenue, we will give away free. I mean, what do you think? We are some novices? The Bharatiya Janata sure. Party, the development work which has happened under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi, please take a lesson or two. First, find <laughs> out your facts and figures to see the why debt? the economy is where it is, why we're heading all. towards a trillion dollar economy, and why we're the number three, heading towards the Can number three in the first in the five, board? and where you left us and where we are. So please stand don't give us board. that. When we talk about Haryana as a case study, Stand please tell board. me, farmers right. voted because okay. they got 24 no crops, uh, the MSP and their income okay. increased right. from I'm, 2012 I'm unfortunately to totally out of time. I'm that totally out of time. I'm about. totally Youngsters out of time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm totally out of time. China NC, Kishore Subramaniam and Kishore Subramaniam, thank you very much for joining us. I know I could okay. give you very less time compared to others. Apologies for that. But thank you for bringing in a very, very important perspective. China NC, advocate Anmol Panwar, as well as advocate APS Kharyal. Thank you to all Thank three you. of you. Well, to our viewers, there's one thing that I think all the political parties are going to agree on, and that is the freebie culture is here to stay. All we'll have to see is, can the political parties be able to weave a magic that at least the voters will not have to bear the burden of it all? Time for a very short break and as the election culture continues after the break we bring you all the latest including the latest announcements for the election dates.